So today you are on Travelomania. We are in Jim Corbett. We are going to tell you about the 10 best things that we are going to do in Jim Corbett. So we went for a nature walk, not with the naturologist, but on our own. And just because this property Ahama by uh, the riverside is very close to Kosi River, so we could see many things. So this is the Dhatura uh, plant and this is the Dhatura flower from which the seed comes. This is a kingfisher bird and again just because it's proximity to the Kosi River, there are a lot of fishes and people go for fishing there also. So the kingfisher awaits his turn and the moment it sees, it spots the fish is like whoosh and gone. This is the most amazing uh, hibiscus I saw there are eight petals in it can you believe and it is two layered the orange one this is the more common uh, joba or the china rose or the hibiscus uh, that we generally see in India the red one and uh, the butterfly feeding on it and uh, like I really got very close to it but yeah I didn't want to disturb it further so uh, it kept feeding on and it was a very nice sight to see there's a few like birds which I spotted the yellow bellied fur tail. Uh, this, yes, obviously you've heard about it, the bulbul. I think many of you might have seen it also, but this was the first time that I was sighting one. This is a cricket, yes, uh, the cricket insect which was feeding on those uh, green leaves. And the ultimate part that I, you know, should like as a naturologist myself i would definitely say this was the best interaction i ever had with a beetle so uh, this beetle uh, was feeding on this uh, rose and uh, what i heard about this beetle is like it's quite dangerous but then like uh, for me it was such a pleasure watching it from you know such a close quarter, up close and personal and I know I might have disturbed it in its food time and ultimately it got like you know bugged with me and said like shoo and ultimately actually <laughs> it went away but it was a nice time yes don't miss this this is the monitor lizard which you are seeing on a tree stub Life made to me is to see this morning and I'm so thankful to God for this, yes, gratitude. That word not very common in my dictionary but now I'm using it because I think this was much needed. So stay tuned to my channel Travelomania because probably travel is the only thing I understand and realized that soothes my you know perturbed mind and it gives me a view like of life like no other teaches me how to sustain how to live Me 
so I'm just having my breakfast in the open some sprouts some greens some yeah pow and uh, the sabzi my favorite sunny side up with some coriander pears and tomato so can you have a better breakfast than this I doubt so the rivers the mountains and me hallelujah it's covered Welcome to Travelomania. We are in Jim Corbett and this is Ahama by the Riverside Retreat. And what better way to start a day with a horse ride? Chalo deep. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube for coming a weekend vibe. And it's in a trot mode today. So let's see, I'm just learning to control this. Right, beta, right, jow, right, jow. चलो चलो कहाँ पे River rafting is one of the activities that you can indulge when you are in Corbett. So for the beginners and professionals, Kosi River offers rapids of grade 1 and grade uh, 2 and 3 as well. And uh, during heavy monsoons, it is uh, not advisable to do. And the route generally starts from uh, Mohan and ends in Gargia. So welcome to Travelomania and when you are in Corbett, you, I think this is a must do but not in monsoons though. Check out the river Kosi in its true form. The way it comes, like it's clear, the water is so very clear and the best part is, uh, I think I said in the other vlog also, there are a lot of colourful stones. So I have collected a few. Just check out those, they are like uh, some shade of turquoise, black, uh, 
some maroon shade as well white is very common little bit of orangish so yes if you can collect scents like yeah i i i possibly collect a lot of shells also so this is my new found hobby and i am pretty much immersed in it I will show you is uh, first atop a hill, which is actually, if I see, it's a type of a rock formation. So there are a couple of steps leading to the temple, and the local deity that is worshipped here is Garjia Devi. लोकल मतलब मैंने जैसे पढ़ा कार्तिक पूर्णिमा के दिन कार्तिक पूर्णिमा का मेला होता है ना तो पूरा ये स्टेट का माना जाता है फेस्टिवल अच्छा तो उस दिन काफी भीड़ रहती है so we do a circumvallation of the main mandir and i show you an amazing view of the kosi river and these are the chimneys that is given to the So we are on Travelomania today, and we are going to Chena. So that's uh, the Jim Corbett National Park, and you might be aware also, the Jim Corbett National Park is the first national park in the country. Yeah. So we have three different type of tigers, which are like visible, predominantly the panther and tigris. Other types of animals are also there: uh, bears, leopards. The deers, many things are there. So let's hope for the best and see what we can view today. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, sorry, that's not the shooting that you are thinking. Uh, we are just, you know, trying to take photos of those cheetahs, and you really have to have patience if you want to take the best shots. So I decided to take the video instead. and while we were having some awesome views of this cheetah known as spotted deer and excess deer it is like native to the indian subcontinent and uh, for information cheetah is one of the animals which forms matriarchal herds and you can see the males have antlers so that is a male that's a bee eater and generally as the name suggests uh, this bird feeds on like uh, bees and wasps so corbett is quite popular for a variety of bee eaters but i saw the cheetah took while crossing the road would be one of the most pleasant views in my safari history these are sambars that uh, are trying to cross the river for going back home 
and uh, sambars are supposed to be the biggest deers of their species. So that's a big, big, big wala banyan tree that we are seeing in front of the rest house. And it looked nice and awesome. So guys, uh, I'll come up with uh, the elaborated uh, video of the entire vlog in Gina and Adela for which you have to subscribe to my channel. Hey, Vento. Travelomania and today where we stand is uh, the earlier bungalow of Mr. Edward Jim Corbett. Yes, by the name of whose the Jim Corbett National Park came into existence. Uh, Jim was born in uh, Nainital and this path, Choti Halwani, is in Nainital itself. So he grew up to, uh, here and he acquired a job here. After that, he developed his uh, love for nature. And he took up hunting at a later stage. And we all know the big antics, the big expeditions that he undertook in killing the manators, the Mohan Manator, the Manators of Kumaon. That's the most famous book probably Jim Corbett wrote. And that was all about his achievements, what he has achieved. He was called upon by like uh, the erstwhile kings and nawabs of Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand was UP then uh, back to kill the manators who had become so disastrous for human life. So, uh, and uh, later when he went away in I think 1945 or 1947 he went away from India uh, he chose to stay in Kenya he uh, sold this place but which place this place this like bungalow was taken up by uh, the government then to whom he had uh, sold and now it's a public property where everyone can come and cherish uh, the ones uh, the, you know the most coveted hunter the trophy of all hunters possibly Jim Cobb okay. so uh, this house stands from the time uh, Jim Corbett was a kid and uh, during those later years when he took up to supporting the people of Halwani he uh, not only like you know earned reputation for this place but he helped to grow up this place by like you know uh, doing certain sort of charity he was an avid shooter i mean i don't mean the hunter but like he was an avid uh, photographer a prolific writer and we all know how hit his book the man eaters of kumaon is so possibly what we have come to uh, see from like knowing jim corbett yes reservationist a naturalist Yeah. 
मिर्ची वाले है ना जीवन का हर सपना अब सच्चा लगता है बड़ी सुंदर दिखती हो क्या लगती हो बड़ी सुंदर दिखती हो Thank you. 